You remember this song? You remember the X-Men cartoon from like the like the like the mid 90s? Listen, I have been trying my best to keep my composure and not laugh for the last two hours. Right? In fact, I've been cracking the fuck up for the last two hours. Billy Joe Saunders, our WBO 160-pound champion, is fighting Wolverine. Yes, Wolverine from X-Men. Fucking Logan. On District Controversy, this is District Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Now listen, I have learned a lot about boxing over the last several years. Um, I'm talking about like about the boxing politics. And sometimes I wish I did not know the things that I know. Because then you can start to predict certain political boxing political moves that are going to be made. For example, um, right now it's August the 1st, 2016. Billy Joe Saunders announced that he was going to be fighting Wolverine on October the 22nd. He was supposed to be fighting on October the 29th on the undercard of uh, Fury vs. Klitschko 2. So now they moved it up a week, and he's going to be fighting on his own card against Wolverine. I hope he check his gloves. I wonder if Professor X is going to be his trainer. Okay, all right. His name is uh, Arthur uh, Akavov, or Akavov, or how you pronounce his name. His alias is the Wolverine. And listen, he looks like Wolverine. What is skinny-ass version of Wolverine? The skinny-ass no claws version of Wolverine. He is 16 and 1 with 7 KOs. And let me put up his record real quick because we need to talk about this. Now, as I was saying earlier about um, you know, what I learned about boxing politics, it's tough because since it was October the 1st, the fight was announced on September the 29th, if I'm correct. So therefore, me knowing what I know about boxing politics, I said, oh, it's not going to be a big name. Because if it's a big name, then he's going to be, you know, they would have more time to promote it. Also, he didn't fight Curtis Stevens. That fight was available. He didn't fight Gabriel Rosado. That fight was available. He didn't fight David Lemieux. That fight was available. And some other names. And definitely he didn't fight Golovkin. And I'm a big Billy Joe Saunders fan. He's a very skilled fighter, but I don't believe I don't think that he believes in himself. Or I believe that him and Frank Warren, right now, if I'm correct, he's um Frank Warren's number one fighter. So if he's Frank Warren's number one fighter, then I feel that Frank Warren, you know, is going to try to milk him to make as much money as he possibly can for him fighting low level competition. Now, this Arthur Akavov Wolverine guy. As I said, 16 and 1 with 7 KOs. Now listen. Right? He's fought once this year against a guy by the name of Todd Manuel. He's 11 10 and 1. Well, he was 11 10 and 1 when uh Wolverine fought him. Now the guy is 12 11 and 1. Before that, Freddie Lopez, that was in November of last year. Freddie Lopez, 9 and 2. Then Michael Mothmora. 27, 23, and 0. That's 27 wins, 23 losses. Then before that, a guy who was 21 and 8 and 1, a guy who was 11, 9, and 2, and that's his last five fights. <coughs> and Billy Joe Sanchez is fighting this guy, but yet, what's even more troubling is why the fuck is this guy ranked by the WBO? So let's go check. My bad, my asthma's been acting up. You have to bear with me. But let's go check to see how high this guy is ranked by the WBO. This guy is number 11. Now, I pretty much assumed, and I talked about it in previous videos, that Billy Joe Saunders was going to be fighting some guy that wasn't in, you know, the top five. You know, but even if you look at the top 15 of the WBO, now remember, if you're a world champion, WBC, IBF, WBA, and in this case, the WBO, you have to fight somebody or defend your title against somebody in the top 15 within a year of when you, 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 um, within a year of when you won the title. Remember, he hasn't fought since last November, but was it December when he fought Andy Lee? 
So this whole year has been a big joke. Now, he was supposed to fight Eubank Jr. again. Eubank Jr. fucked it up. I do admit that. He was supposed to fight fucking Max Bursick, but he said, quote unquote, Billy Joe Sander, that he, that he hurt his hand wanking. He hurt his hand beating his dick or choking the chicken, spanking the monkey, you know. So let's look at the uh, top 15 of the uh, WBO and let's see if he could afford somebody that was better than fucking Wolverine. He got the Wolverine cut. He's got the beard. I wonder what Professor X is, man. But anyway, he fighting fucking Logan. He fighting fucking what's his name? James Howard. What's what's Wolverine's real name? James uh, Logan Howard or some shit. So listen, you got a a vet to deal. Uh, Kurt Cedis. Um, he's the guy who had a uh, beat. What was that he beat? Was it Marcus Brown? I get those guys mixed up. It's two fighters that I always get mixed up, and it's not Marcus Brown. What's that guy's name that he beat? Marcus Brown is the 175 pounder. What's that guy's name, that prospect that um Kurt Cedis beat? Remind me. You got Tommy Langford, who was supposed to be fighting um Chris Eubank Jr. You got uh Royal uh Rayota uh Murata. You got David Lemieux, who's also fighting on October 22nd, by the way. You got uh Max Bursek. You got Haseem um 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 Indom, who was fighting in the Olympics, and I believe he can't fight for any more belts anymore because he went to the Olympics and lost to pretty much an amateur, if I'm correct. You got Rob Brandt. You got uh, uh, Miss E. Zalupski, whatever his name is. Chris Eubank Jr., Gabriel Rosado. Of course, Arthur uh, Ako, uh, Akavolv. You know, some other guy whose name I can't pronounce, Curtis Stevens, Willie Monroe, and Andy Lee. So if you look at it, the WBO rankings are kind of fucked up, and some of the names that that are available, Billy Joe Saunders couldn't fight on that date because they already fought before. And I wonder, like, what the fuck is this guy doing with his career, man? Remember, he was supposed to be on the Canelo versus Smith undercard, which would have been huge for him to get that American exposure. So now his back is really against the wall, but he's kind of in a good situation because. There's word that um, him and Canelo is probably going to happen in May, you know, and that would give Canelo leverage and also Billy Joe Saunders leverage. If Billy Joe Saunders beats Canelo, let's just say it. Don't be a female and don't be a child. I know there's going to be some people that are saying he's not beating no Canelo. Listen, let's just talk boxing. So, you know, if he beats Canelo, right, he'll have that leverage over, over Gennady Golovkin because we all know that that belt, that WBO belt, is the last one Golovkin needs to be an undisputed champion. History. The last undisputed champion was Jermaine Taylor when he beat Bernard Hopkins. <coughs> <coughs> and to be undisputed in this day and age, you have to have the WBC, the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO. And of course, you can say the IBO, you know, and the ring, but. You need those four main sanctioning bodies. So Billy Joe Saunders knows that if he fights Golovkin, especially with what Kell Brook did, that Golovkin is going to have to come over to the UK because that's where the money is. Billy Joe Saunders wants big money. He's not going to make that big money coming over to the U.S. to fight Golovkin, even though Golovkin does have three belts. But Golovkin wants that belt, so Golovkin is going to have to go over to the UK. Now, Frank Warren has said that there's been negotiations for him to fight Billy Joe Saunders in either February or March. We won't know until we see for sure. But one thing is that Billy Joe Saunders is losing a lot of respect, man. And the thing is, he's really good, yo. He's got some skills, and, he, and he's a he's what can be considered somewhat of a slick fighter. Now, later on in the rounds, he does tend to, um, you know, lax on the ropes a little too much. You don't want to do that against Golovkin. you got to keep moving. You know, but he will be able to create some some problems. He does not really know as a power puncher, but he will be able to create some problems. But now, you know, we're just gonna have to see. He's fighting motherfucker Wolverine. Wolverine. This gotta count for something, right? In Tissue Controversy, this is Tissue Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. I'm gonna do another video on this, most likely during Fight Week, where we'll talk about uh this uh we'll talk about Wolverine as a fighter. And also, what are they going to do with that? What's that? Antimanium? 
what they gonna do with the claws? You know? They gotta put something extra over so the claws don't come out. You know, claw the shit out of Billy Joe. Please subscribe. Also, his chin. Remember, he's like he's weapon X. So he's got that fucking, you know, that that uh that that non-destructible, you know, skeleton and shit. So which means his chin is gonna be hard and shit. We'll see. Please subscribe.